Hello everyone, Sir Wes here of iSchool Corps and welcome back to EduCation. This is going to be a quick tutorial, so let's get into it. Open your Google Chrome browser. Remember, this tutorial only works with Google Chrome. It doesn't work on Safari, Firefox, and Microsoft Edge. Also, there are a few steps and conditions that you should know when playing videos in Google Meet wherein your participants can hear the audio of that particular video. First, log in to your Google account when you are using Chrome. I'm already logged in using our agency's registered email which is sweet. Next, click your account picture and be sure to turn sync on. Point of warning, when you do this, be sure that you are not using your email address when making online transactions. As said in this reminder, your agency's IT admin may have records of your history, passwords, bookmarks, etc. So just keep that in mind. Click on Create a new profile. A new Chrome window will appear to confirm your choice. So just confirm it. Now we're done with that, you need to go to these three vertical dots in the upper right corner of your browser. Click on it and choose Cast. Right-click on the cast icon beside your profile picture and be sure that Always Show Icon, Optimized Full Screen Videos, and Enable Cloud Service are checked. With these steps, our Google Chrome browser now has the capacity to fetch all videos with audio to your Google Meet. However, the Google Meet services on using this method has one condition, and that is the Google Meet conference room must be prepared prior which means we must always set a schedule for your conference in Google Meet. We can do that by going to our Google Calendar. So, click on these nine dots which are found beside the image text here and choose Calendar. Once you're in the Calendar application, it will automatically create a red line on the current time you have in your system. And in order to meet the condition of Google Meet, Let's make a conference room now and set the schedule about an hour before and should end around an hour after. Let's name this conference room as Online Demonstration for Playing Videos with Audio. Be sure to click on this option so that Google Calendar will set up a room for you in Google Meet with the link of that room which you will send to your participants. After that, click Save. Now we have a room that's ready for our participants and ready for you to present your videos with audio. Let's go to that room right now. So just click on this schedule we made and click Join with Google Meet. You will now be redirected to your Google Meet room settings. If this is your first time to use and host Google Meet rooms, you will be asked to allow Google Meet to use your microphone and camera. I won't be doing that anymore since this is just a demo. Click on Join Now. Now we're inside our Google Meet conference room. Let's add a participant here. Someone who would be using a smartphone perhaps to show that this also works with mobile applications. So, as you can see, I have here my main account as the host of this room and this one is the real-time mobile user who is a participant of our conference room. Also, you must remember that if you are going to play videos with audios in it, you can't use this percent option here in the lower right of your Google Meet interface. What you need to do is to make that video online, which means it must be accessed by the internet. Example. I would like to play a video in our channel wherein my participants can watch it on my Google Meet conference. So I'd make a new tab, go to that video, and wait for it to load. And let's say I would like to present this video now. So what I need to do is to go to the cast icon here and click it. As you can see, it detected that we have a room in Google Meet, and this is the name of our room, Online Demonstration for Playing Videos with Audio. All I have to do now is click this and it will automatically present in my Google Meet conference room. 
You can also see it here in our participants view that the video is playing and they can hear the audio of that video. If you want to go back to your channel to check, you can do so and see for yourself that the room is currently presenting the video we played on this tab. You can still interact with your participants here using the chat box or even talk if you desire by turning the microphone on. If you want to end the presentation, go back to the tab of that video. Be sure to stop it here first and click again on the cast icon and click the name of your conference room to stop the current presentation. Back to your conference room, your presentation will also be stopped, though it may have about 2-3 to three seconds delay depending on how fast your internet connection is. That's it! This is, as of now, the only way to present videos with audio when using Google Meet. If you found this video useful, please give it a like below. We are also conducting a fundraising drive to improve our current computer systems since it's already nearing its end. If you wish to support us to continue creating these videos, you can find the details of our fundraising drive found in the description box below. This is our website of iSchool Forms and thank you for watching.